Hi, everybody, and welcome back. It's another great day here in Idaho, and I'm real excited to walk you through this coach. You know, this particular coach we call our IWS mid-entry. It's based on a Renegade Classic conversion package, and it's something that we've really been working to perfect. We really designed this coach with customers of ours that have active lifestyles that really like to go, you know, on the road less traveled and really enjoy being outdoors. But yet in the evenings when they come in, they really want some luxury, but not, you know, over the top luxury. You know, you, you'll see as we enter this coach, there's no polished marble floors. This is a very utility based, high end luxury coach. And enough talking, maybe I'll just walk you through it. So as you see, as we go up the entry step, Renegade has the boot step here. So there's two different levels that you can kick your shoes off and they slide underneath the steps. Another thing that you'll notice is we did bed liner on the step well here. And the reason we do that is, you know, if you come in and you've got muddy boots, you can just kick them off right there. You can take a hose. We have a spigot on the outside of this coach. You can wash this whole compartment out or you can just sweep it out. Renegade's also done a nice job. They've installed uh, LED lighting in there. So in the evening, the step well is lit up and not to sound cliche, but a first step towards building a great coach is having an entryway that's very usable. You know, we did this coach using black padded walls. We did a Italian nutmeg stain on the cabinets, neat vibe and a neat feel in it. As you come up the stairwell immediately to your right, Renegade's installed the control station right here and it's really nice having it there because it's the first thing that you have access to as you start up the stairs of the coach. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail here. As I've mentioned before, we, we have separate videos that really go into a lot of detail about all of these functions here and that's available when you buy a coach, you'll get it in our IWS Advantage package. You can see there's a generator start button. This Magnum Energy controller is for the auto gen start and all the battery control functions. We've also asked Renegade to start installing the solar panel controller inside the coach. Here you can see there's 12.8 volts coming in from the solar panel, so it's charging and doing its job. The next panel as we move down is the control panel where you can turn the water pump switches on, the water tank heater, so on this particular coach, we've installed a 10 gallon water heater and there was a lot of thought that went behind that. One of the reasons that we've done it is this is a dual fuel water heater, so you can have electric power or LP gas. But another neat feature about it is Renegade puts a complete insulation package around the water heater. So let's say you're camped all night dry camping and you run the water heater on propane for a few hours in the evening, you take a nice shower, and then you shut that heater off. With that insulation package on it, when you get up in the morning, you're still gonna have hot water enough to do the dishes. It does that good a job of insulating it. Another neat thing is as you're driving down the road, if you need to just stop and wash your hands, you should have warm water in it from the night before. There's a nice glass covering on this. This is just a really nice uh, feature on this coach. There's extra lights here on the side of the step well, but right here at the very bottom of it, if you look, you're gonna see two switches. One is on the left is the step well, so you can lock the steps out, but the other one is the battery on and off. Renegade does a nice job of positioning this here. So as you go out of the coach, you can open up the door, turn right around, push that button and disconnect all the batteries. There's a heating duct right there. So if your uh, step well gets built up with ice, you know you're trudging in and out with snow, it's gonna blow warm air and thaw that step well. Uh, we've asked Renegade to put an overhead cabinet over the top of the doorway. We really felt that was some space that was being underutilized. It's just a nice cabinet to store stuff. Maybe things that you don't need to have on a daily basis. You can put your stocking caps up there and you know, winter gloves. We've also had extra coat racks installed here. And the theory behind it was that as you come in from the outside, if you're wet, you can turn around and hang your coat and the water would drip down into the step well. Just a nice entrance to the coach in a very well thought out space. Here you can see the control panels. They're all easy to get to. A thing that we do here at IWS is we label each one of them so you know exactly what each switch does. 
Now as we move into the kitchen area and we start talking about the cabinets and the functions, you can see these are true handcrafted cabinets. On the slide out drawers there, you can notice the dovetail construction and that's something that you know typically you'll find only on the finest of homes. They have all soft closed drawer features it's hard to show, but when you open up the cabinet doors, Renegade, you know, they stain them all the way to the back. There's no shortcuts, there's no compromises. All of these cabinets are made out of solid maple. Just absolutely the best cabinets that I think you can find on planet Earth for an RV. Some of the other things that they've done a good job of is, if you noted the lighting elements on this coach, we put extra 110 outlets in the kitchen so you can you know, have your coffee pot on one side, your toaster on the other. We've done a residential deep dish sink here, full stainless steel with a residential style faucet with a pull out spray head. Everything that we're doing on these coaches is the absolute best that we can do. You know, we're not shortcutting something to try to drive the price down. We're doing the best we can. We've installed a trash can underneath the sink. I think that's a very overlooked thing on most motorhomes. But again, if you don't want it, we can install a shelf there. You know, we're trying to think ahead on everything. And right there is a great place to store frying pans, pots and pans. So we, we'd asked Renegade to design a big area for that. We've really started moving away from gas stoves and going to the true induction. You know, I was a hardcore, staunch gas stove person. So was my wife, you know, she's a baker and a, she loves to cook. So having a gas stove is very important to her. And our first few coaches, we had gas stoves in them. Then we started experimenting with the true induction and listening to some of our customers. And once we switched to it, we're completely sold on the cooking aspect of the true induction. But it's also nice to have that really nice flat surface. So, you know, if you're not cooking, you can come in and, you know, set dishes there or extra groceries. It just really makes the space a lot more usable. And the other nice thing of it is it cools down really quick. It won't even heat up until you put a magnetic style pot on it, so works great. Now we're going to move up and talk a little bit about the microwave and, you know, what's to talk about a microwave? Well, this is a 1.5 cubic foot residential style microwave, but it's not just a microwave, it's a convection oven as well. And I've said it in just about every video. You know, we really enjoyed this using a convection oven so much that we've actually put one in our home. It's kind of unique when you go through all the speed cooking systems on it. You know, if you want to make a baked potato and you want it browned, you can just push one button and it'll do it all. It's not some cheap RV microwave. Now, as we move over to the 13 cubic foot RV refrigerator, you know, it seems like within the industry, you either love RV fridges or you hate them. In this particular coach, we did it for a specific reason. It sure wasn't to save money because this refrigerator is a significant price upgrade on this coach. But we really felt this coach deserved this type of fridge because typically you're gonna be off grid, so it'll automatically select between 110 voltage or propane power. So if you're gonna be away from the coach for days, you don't have to worry about a lot of voltage issues because it's just gonna operate on propane. Another neat thing about it is when you turn the key on, it automatically locks all four doors on the refrigerator. As you move up into the entertainment center, you can see there's a Blu-ray player on it, surround sound home theater system in it. But I really wanna draw your attention to is that we have Renegade take the glass out of the cabinets and install mesh screen so that as the air conditioner kicks on, the cold air can blow the hot air out of there. And we're doing that to try to get the components to last longer. Now, as we move around and we look up into the bunk area on this, you can see that we put the TV on a motorized slide. You just push the button right there and the TV slides out. We made this really nice shelf right there. So if you're laying up into the bunk bed, you can set a water bottle there or your cell phone. We've had 110 outlets installed there with USB charge ports on it. You'll notice the mattress is a little bit shorter on this, and we did that for a reason. As you get into the cab, you have a place to set a purse or your wallet. It kind of created a little cavity right there. So, you know, I just want to point out that we tried to really think through everything. 
You also have access right here to not just an emergency hatch, but an access hatch to get up on the roof to do some viewing. We've installed air conditioning vents here in the ceiling, so if you're laying in the bunk, you can have air blowing on you. We've also installed the vent. Really, we put it as far forward in this coach as we could, so in the evening, you can choose to turn the fan on and have it blow cool evening air down on top of you, or you can open up a window at the back of the coach and pull air all the way through the coach, and it's gonna pull it right over the top of you as you're laying in bed. A lot of people say they like to sleep with the hatch open so they can look up at the stars in the evening. Just a really nice feature. You'll notice that this has a removable plug right there to help getting in and out of the coach. And a few of our customers complain when they go up and down the bunk with bare socks that their feet kind of hurt because the, the ladder rungs are too narrow. And We've asked to have the rungs on the ladder built two inches wider than standard. It's hard for us to understand why people would buy a coach from somebody else when we know how hard it is. We're really trying to do the absolute best we can do on a coach. We could definitely cut corners on these coaches and drive the price down five, 10, $15,000, but we just don't think it's the right thing to do. And we're trying to be the best we can be and build the best coach for our customers and we're gonna do our best to continue to guide you through this process. Now we're gonna move over into the living quarters side of the coach and show you some more of the cabinet space on this coach. You know, this coach has a seven foot eight interior height, so lots of room to make big, tall cabinets. As you can see, we've installed the flex steel furniture or the flex steel dinette in this coach. Really a big fan of these. We've said it over and over. We love having the storage underneath it. It's kind of hard to explain, but you know, I'm six foot, 240, 250 pounds, so I'm kind of a bigger guy. And a lot of times when I sit down in a dinette, the table wiggles and you know, you feel like you're sitting in a church pew, the backs are straight up and down. This dinette has a great curved feature. They've installed a 110 outlet and a USB port underneath the table so that you can have a laptop on the table or, a, or you can have your cell phone charging on it. Also, you know, when it comes to lighting elements, you can see you've got wall sconces, you've got reading lights. They've just really tried to think of everything. Now, as we move over to above the sofa, you'll see there's more cabinets over the top of it. The window, it's hard to show it with the blinds open, the video, we get so much sun in, but I want you to know that's a full plate glass picture window in it. The sofa bed is a flex steel fold out sofa bed. We've designed this coach so there's room to get by the bed in the evening. You know, if you have somebody sleeping there, guests or kids, you can still get in and out of the coach. Very important to us. This is a full air mattress that pumps up in probably two to three minutes. So you can adjust the, you know, the air pressure in the bed. It's not one of them erector set beds that takes forever to build and you wake up in the morning and you can't move. Renegade installed three seat belts in it so you can have uh, passengers secured as you're traveling down the road. They also have great viewing angle of the TV from sitting in there. That's an all electric fireplace. And what's so neat about this is it has a lot of different settings. The functional side of it is really neat. You know, let's say it's a fall evening. You don't even have to run the furnace. This thing puts off a nice amount of electric heat. But probably the feature that I like the best is that you can have the digital flame burning and it not put off any heat. So even in the summer, you can have that beautiful looking fireplace in the evening. And it really just adds a, a whole new level of elegance to the coach. Over the top of it, we've installed a nice countertop. So you've got a place to set a cell phone or your knickknacks or whatever. We've added a mirror there. It really helps to make the coach look a little bit bigger. We've also installed beautiful cabinets over the top of it with glass doors on it. Here you can also see the LED light strips over it, so they put off a nice uh, ambiance in the evening. The lighting elements, I, I keep talking about it over and over, but it's really neat just to kind of set the different levels of mood that you want in your coach. Now we're going to move back into the bathroom on this coach, and this is kind of a unique bathroom in the fact that the toilet is not off in its own cabinet. And one of the reasons we did this is by putting everything in one room, you really get a big, spacious bathroom. 
this bathroom, you know, is the full width of the coach. Everything in it is quality. You can see here as we open up the cabinet doors, it's the same exact craftsmanship and quality that you found in the kitchen cabinets. You can also see that we put extra side drawers in the vanity. That's something at IWS that we try to specify on every one of our coach as long as the space will allow it so that you can have a drawer for toothbrushes and brushes and hair dryers, trash cans in there. I mean, all these things that you really need to use in the coach. Many times people buy a coach and they find out that there's no space to even put a trash can. You can see on this coach, we've installed the all porcelain macerator toilet. What I like about that is that it's all electric and it has a pump and a grinder in it so that it emulsifies and, and grinds up all of the waste products so that you don't have to use special RV toilet paper on it. And then it sends it down into the tank in an emulsified product. The other neat thing about it is when it comes to water saving, you have a selection for number one or number two, and that dictates how much water goes out through the flush. Another neat feature is you can push both of them buttons at the same time when you're traveling and it'll completely evacuate the water in the bowl. Now as we move over to the other side of the bathroom, you can see we have a beautiful, well-lit shower in it a really tall linen closet right next to it. We have lots of natural light coming in on this coach. You can see the shower has a nice seat in it. With a seven foot eight interior height and then a skylight over it, you're about eight foot four inches to the top of the shower. So everybody that comes in here just marvels at how big this shower is. Just makes RV lifestyle that much more enjoyable. Now we're gonna move into the master bedroom of this coach. and. As you can see, it's just breathtaking in here. This is a coach that you really need to see to just really appreciate how the colors all work together. There's wonderful storage over the top of the bed. Here's some more of the lighting elements that I was talking about so that you can have reading lights and you can just really set the mood. You'll also notice that on each side of the bed, there's a 110 outlet. You can also start the generator from back here. The slide out controls are easily uh, located right there on the wall as you walk in. This bedroom's equipped with two slide outs. It also has a beautiful all black ceiling fan. As we pan around to the wardrobe here, you can see we have a really nice 32 inch television up on the wall. There's a Blu-ray player. There's a sound system in the bedroom. As you can see, as we open up the cabinets, you'll notice that Renegade stained all the way to the back of the cabinets. Part of the reason they put that stain all the way back there and cover it is so that the little fibers of wood don't scrape on your clothing. The hanger bar goes all the way behind the TV so you can store extra clothes behind the TV. Lots of slide out drawers. There's just so many beautiful features of this coach that I really want to share with you. Here's another thing that we do again. We put the mesh screen on there and it didn't take long for us to realize when you do glass, the components heat up and there's no way for the heat to get out. So by switching them to mesh, we really made the components last a lot longer. Everything we're doing is just to try to enhance your quality of life. You know, I tell everybody we sell luxury coaches and we're offering a luxury lifestyle and service with them. As we move up into the front of this coach, you can see some of the things that we really worked hard on. And you know, we're trying to build a true coach for people that like to take the road less travel. And one of the things that we've done is we deleted the carpet up front. You know, if you get in with muddy boots, you can just wipe the mud out of there, you know. We, we really tried to do our best to make this thing very useful and user-friendly for active lifestyles. This coach has the Cummins ISL 9 engine, so it has a two-stage engine brake in it. We've also installed our IWS upgraded stereo package. You know, we've really put a lot of thought in this. Not only does it upgrade the sound system because we put all new Alpine speakers in it, tweeters, subwoofers, and amplifiers, but we've put the largest in-dash viewing screen that we possibly could. There's just a ton of features that go in with the stereo, and this is just a lot of extra effort that we go through here at our shop to really make it an IWS coach for our customers. You can see this has the Allison six-speed automatic transmission in it, the full complements of gauges on it, 
I just really want to try to explain how easy this coach is to drive. You know, it has a 55 degree wheel cut, which means the wheels will turn 55 degrees right or left. So I would venture to guess that you can turn this coach in about the same distance that you could turn a four door long bed pickup. It's exceptionally easy to drive. It's easy to get in and out. You can see here the seats. We've stayed with the stock Freightliner seats because they've got a ton of adjustability and functions in them. But Renegade did wrap the seats in an ultra leather fabric that matches the interior fabric. Just a well thought out cab. We've also equipped this coach with a passenger side swivel seat so you can rotate it back and have extra seating inside of the coach. There's a full length curtain that goes around the front of the coach for added privacy. Now, as we begin to conclude this video, I hope I've done a better job of helping you understand what the coach looks like. As the slides start coming in on this coach, you can see that everything's accessible. You know, the living quarters and the bathroom as you're traveling down the road. I'm gonna end this video as I do all of our videos, and that is just thank you from the bottom of my heart for spending a little bit of time with us. You know, we're a really small dealership out in the middle of nowhere in Idaho, and from the bottom of my heart, I wanna say thanks, and I look forward to seeing you soon.